You can join in now. I need that rock. with his stones all the enemies of Israel I come at you in the name of the Lord and he will deliver you into our hands and we'll smite you and take your head from you and give the carcasses of the hosts of the enemies uh, it's just so sickening to listen to this guy. It's nauseating to listen to him. Now, what you're watching here is a video Robin Bullock posted on his YouTube channel today from his recent trip to Israel. And what you're seeing in real time is Bullock Theater. This is all a show. This is all theater. And make no mistake, Tombstone is uh, quite aware that he's adored by his delusional followers who hold him up as this great one of God. And he's also quite aware that he, you know, for him, it's lights, camera, action. It's all acting. <laughs> Look at him. It's just unbelievable. But his words are powerless. And his words serve only to excite his followers as they think they're witnessing prophecy. But this clown, again, is only acting. He knows that his little fake speech here is fantastic theater, and he's being recorded from three different angles, three different cameras. They actually got a drone up there filming this, and then two other angles. And, of course, he's mic'd up to make sure that this moment captured on video it's going to be posted by him and it'll be picked up and posted by many other youtube and social media channels when they repost it but here he is putting on a show now here's what you don't see here's what you don't see you don't see robin preaching the gospel to the lost you don't see robin addressing any leaders you know like elijah did just speaking to the wind you don't see any outreach in helping the poor, the homeless, or the destitute. What you see is a spoiled American scam artist leading around a group of tourists, and he is making a fool out of himself while he mocks the true gospel for a photo op. He brandishes his wizard stick with his toy eagle on the end that he tied on with a rubber band. And he dons his trademark leather jacket and his effeminate hair scrunchie. Look at that. It's a very pretty hair scrunchie he's got on there. While well, he speaks to the wind with empty words. Now, something that needs to be said in every Robin Bullock video is this. He is a confirmed false prophet. This is not up for debate. He's a confirmed false prophet. Many many times over. This needs to be said. And this is how you know that his words are empty. This man is a multi-millionaire. Look at him shaking. It's Look at everybody's getting all excited. He's getting them all frenzied up. They love it. Their hero is up on Mount Carmel. Look at him. So much effort. Look at the pain in his face. It's hard to be a prophet. But all his ministry is is photo ops and empty words. Now, his church recently turned away a lovely lady named Janet Ndegwa, who traveled 2,000 miles to attend his church. They turned her away. But we're supposed to believe that he's loosing the power of God on top of Mount Carmel because, well, he's Robin Bullock. In other words, he forsakes the true gospel by not helping this single person, Janet and Degwa, in his hometown. But that's okay, I guess, because, well, just look at him here. Isn't this what it's all about? Unbelievable. Well, for him, this is what it's all about. Putting on a good show, 
putting on a good show for the paying donors who brought him to Israel and who expect to see this. This is, remember what Kat Kerr said, the, uh, the prophet's got to put on a good show. And so that's what they pay for. It's very sad. It's all show business for the Bullocks. Pretending to be powerful. Listen to that. Pretending to be powerful on video. Wow. Just think of that. It doesn't care about the true gospel. He wants to pretend. Welcome to the end times. Where the pretenders are preferred. The millions that watch Robin's worldwide ministry, his fake ministry, will see this video. And they'll be inspired. And they're going to flood his PayPal and his church with money, money, money. Look at him, they'll say. Look at him. Herb, look at him. He's just like Elijah up on Mount Carmel. Herb, get the checkbook. Grab the MasterCard. We've got to send some money to the Robins. They've all been thoroughly entertained, and so they'll send the money. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this to you today, just to point this out. We want to stand in opposition to this false prophet. And I want to ask you also, please continue to pray for that precious 82-year-old Janet Ndegwa, who made a 2,000-mile journey to Robin's church only to be turned away at the door. Here she is, right here, eating some breakfast. She's still in Warrior. She's still in Warrior, Alabama. So continue to pray for her. Now, I guess she wasn't worthy enough to get any prophetic proclamation from Tombstone. She got the boot, you know, because, I, you know, I'm... And also pray for the community of Warrior, Alabama. Pray for the citizens there. They have to endure a lot from Billy Ray. So continue to pray for Warrior Alabama. And pray against uh, this ministry, this cult, because they are actively shipwrecking the faith of so many. And pray for Robin. Pray that he will repent of this ministry, this fake ministry of theater, and come to the truth of Jesus Christ. Come to the true gospel.